Hello and welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today I'm going to share with you three more shelf-stable meals that you can pull from your pantry in an emergency situation or just when you are in a pinch. So today I'm going to start off the video a little bit differently because I'm going to give you an example of something that I keep on hand in case the power goes out. Now this is a propane two burner stove. As you can see, it is well loved. Now we use this every single time that we go camping. It just attaches to a one pound propane cylinder. Every time I do a Walmart pickup order, I order four to eight of these. And the reason that we use propane over butane as our emergency cooking fuel is because we run our buddy heaters on these one pound cylinders. We have a lot of uses for these one pound cylinders. So it is just the most economical for us. I know at Walmart they sell these in a four pack. They used to sell them in a six pack as well, but I do not think that they have been selling them in a six pack at least probably since 2020. Another thing that I want to mention is to keep some protein on hand. This one mixes well with warm liquids as well as cool liquids. Just find one that your family likes personally. It's great to have a big thing of protein in your cabinet when this gets about halfway empty. I just buy another one, but honestly we do not go through this as much as we should. You can add this into baked goods, you can add this into oatmeal, you can add this into your coffee drinks, hot chocolate. You can get creative with protein and that's something great to have on hand. All right, now let's make some breakfast. So we are going to make some oatmeal. I have these quick rolled oats. I have some walnuts. I have some brown sugar. This is mostly homemade brown sugar. I have some maple syrup. You can use regular shelf stable syrup if you would like to, but we like the real stuff. And then I'm just going to add some water as well. Ooh. Some cinnamon. We'll add some cinnamon as well. All right, I'm going to make three servings. So I have three cups of water. So we are going to let this water come up to a boil and then we will gently stir in our one and a half cups of oats and our sweeteners. All right, it's slowly coming to a boil. This is where you add in a pinch of salt, some cinnamon, some vanilla if you have some vanilla, but I am out. Unfortunately, I'm turn that heat on a low so I don't burn myself. Jeez. Um, I have this on low. We're going to cook it for four minutes. I'm going to add in my brown sugar. So I'm just going to add the brown sugar in here to sweeten the oatmeal. And then I will just serve the maple syrup on top with the walnuts. That way the oatmeal is not overly sweet. Now these just need to cook on the stovetop for four minutes. That's what's super nice about having quick cooking oats in your cabinet. I have this on the lowest heat it will go and it is still just bubbling. I'm just going to turn that heat off. Now what is your favorite oatmeal? Do you like steel cut? Do you like old fashioned? Do you like your quick oats? I need to know. All right, this is now ready. Oh my goodness, this smells amazing. Now to this, I'm going to add 
some walnuts, and some maple syrup. Yum! And that is what's for breakfast. Mm. Oatmeal is just the best. For this dinner, we are going to do a simple mushroom tortellini. All right, I have some water that's getting ready to boil over here. Of course, you could cook this tortellini right in the sauce, but today I am choosing to cook the sauce separately. For the ingredients of this recipe, I am going to take some tortellini, some Alfredo sauce, a can of mushrooms, and a can of diced petite potatoes. My seasonings are going to be this Italian seasoning and some salt, things that I always have on hand. And we also have some shelf-stable Parmesan cheese, three new ones in my pantry, but I'm just gonna use the one I had in my fridge. I suggest keeping these little bottles of Parmesan cheese in your pantry, they're really convenient. Now I am going to turn the heat of my Dutch oven on. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of olive oil and add that in here. And as that heats up, I am going to open up my veggie cans. Now in my oil, I'm going to add my seasonings and really get those toasted up. I'm throw a little garlic powder in there as well. Well, you can really smell that now. So I lightly drained my tomatoes. That will give those canned tomatoes a lot of delicious flavor. I'm just gonna let those simmer for about a minute. And while that is happening, I'm going to salt my water for my pasta. And I'm going to add my tortellini for eight minutes. Break them apart since they're kind of lumping together a bit. All right, now to these tomatoes, I'm going to add my can of mushrooms. Now I am making this a meat-free recipe. Those tortellinis are mushroom tortellinis. And I grabbed this from Aldi. Now I'm just going to add a hint of Himalayan salt. and some pepper. And then I am going to take that delicious Alfredo sauce and add that right in. Mm, I just did a taste test and that is good. I am going to add a, like a tablespoon of water and get the rest of that sauce out. sauce looks so pretty. All right, we got six and a half more minutes. I'm going to let this just simmer. And we are gonna let those tortellinis get all cooked up. All right, for the last minute and a half, I'm going to transfer those tortellinis to the sauce. Ooh. This is going to be so good. Now I am just going to let this 
simmer for about two more minutes. I also just cannot help myself. I have to add some crushed red pepper flakes. I love some heat. All right, I am now going to turn the heat off. I'm going to try one. Even though I'm going to burn my mouth. Just to make sure they're cooked all the way through. Oh, of course. I just want to make sure this is cooked all the way through. Mmm. They are perfect. All right, let's serve it up. All right, now let's serve up some pasta. And that is what's for dinner. Of course, we're also going to top it with some Parmesan cheese and some crushed red pepper flakes. And that is the delicious mushroom tortellini. All right, I'm going to do a little taste test. Mmm. This is really good. The second quick meal I'm going to make is veggies with mashed potatoes and chicken gravy. So it is like 8.30 at night, probably a little bit after that. I'm starving, I'm exhausted. So I'm going to do a little shelf-stable pantry meal for you. I have instant potatoes. I'm going to have green beans. My husband will have corn. And then I'm just going to make like chicken and gravy. I have chicken, but I'd have to bake it in the oven. And honestly, I'm just going to make dinner in less than 10 minutes. I have the oven preheating. I'm going to toss each one of these into a small aluminum foil dish and I will start my instant potatoes. I just add two cups water and like two tablespoons of ghee or butter and then once that is boiling I will add in my one cup of instant potato flakes. Little Himalayan salt, because both of these were salt free. All right, I'm going to toss these in the oven and make our potatoes. All right, this is boiling. So I'm just turning the heat off and mixing it all up. It'll start bubbling up. And then I'm just going to move this to a serving dish and then we will make the gravy. So for this like chicken gravy, whoa. I'm going to add that can of chicken. I'm going to add the whole thing. And then I have three cups of water in this country gravy mix. Let me get a little whisk to incorporate this. Now I'm just going to let this come up to a boil, let it boil for one minute, and then this is good. And then we're just waiting on the vegetables. So tell me, what are your go-to like 15 minute meals? This isn't one that I normally would go for, but I knew that I was going to film another Shelf Stable Pantry Meals video because this will complete another video. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make this now and we'll enjoy it in a pinch. I'm usually not out this late. And my husband's going to be home in like five minutes, so this will be ready in the perfect amount of time. Our go-to is like 
a tuna mel or just tuna and crackers. I do see that a lot of people are expanding their pantries and having more of an extended pantry. So I'm interested in seeing how different people are utilizing their pantries. All right, now I'm just going to take this off the heat and let that thicken up. All right, there's our super simple dinner. Got some mashed potatoes. Some of those green beans. And heck, I'll go for some corn too this time. I'm usually not in the corn mood, but I am starving tonight. And we'll just add that chicken gravy. And that is what's for dinner. Super simple. If you need a meal on the table in 15 minutes, this is gonna be delicious. Add more chicken to it if you want more protein. Regardless, this is going to be amazing. Thank you so much for watching today's Shelf Stable Pantry Meals video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching.